Hello everyone, it is great to be back for more fun and games with Minute to Win It. Are we loving Minute to Win It? Yeah. I tell you what, we're loving the fact that we are halfway through Minute to Win It. We've had five of our games so far and every single one has been successful. With Burswood donating $50,000 a pop, that means that so far, already with Minute to Win It for Telethon this year, we've raised $250,000. An extraordinary effort. On that note, would you please bring in our friend from Burswood, John, come on over. John Wynn works at Burswood and he's got another $50,000 check that he would love to give away. John, where do you work at Burswood? It's a big complex. It is a big complex. I work at Moto Mio. Moto Mio, fantastic. Relatively new Italian restaurant. And the restaurants at Burswood have been coming on in leaps and bounds this year. They have indeed, yeah. Great to have you here with a $50,000 check in your hand. Let's hope you can give it away. Shall we find out who our next contestant is and what this game is all about? This is kind of turning the tables a bit because those of you at the PCEC will know that we've had a bit of an audience warm-up man in Mr John Deeks. He's also been with Channel 7 for far too many years to mention as the voiceover man behind the scenes on all your favourite game shows. And so we get to turn the tables on him because now Deeksy gets to be a contestant. And I get to say, John Deeks, Come on down! You're the next contestant on Minute to Win It! <laughs> John, don't get carried away. You've seen this fail so many times on live TV. Oh, good on you. Now, this is exciting and a little bit pressure-packed because I've just explained that no-one has uh, mucked this up yet. Oh, great. No pressure. No pressure. So everybody has won the Minute to Win It. They have so far. Until now. We'll see. Now, in fact, I should also say, this is the start of some harder challenges. I'm sorry that you're the first one of these more difficult ones. It looks relatively easy, but it's not. You need to have very nimble fingers. Do you think you do? I went out with George last night. My hands are still shaking. That's not a good start. Yeah. You need the precision of a surgeon to carry this one off. If I blow it, what happens? Um, the telephone misses out on the money. Oh, no! <laughs> That's all. That's all. No pressure. No. Let's get into this. It's called Paper Scraper, and it involves building a tower ten storeys high with these cards. Dixie, I'll give you a few seconds to compose yourself while we look at the blueprint. In this challenge, the contestant must use 30 index cards to build a tower ten storeys high. Each level must consist of two folded cards on end and one flat card on top. Precision is critical, as the smallest mistake will bring the house of cards down, forcing the player to begin again. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. Like I said, it's harder than it looks. He's going to need lots of support here in the room, so give it up, everyone, for John Deeks. The game begins in three, two, two one. one. Go for it, Deeksy. Here we go. It's called Paper Scraper. And as you've seen, he needs to build a 10-storey high tower. It's a hard one because you want to go slow and steady to make sure it stays upright, but if you go too slowly, you're going to run out of time. We're already down to 45 seconds, and he's up to three storeys. Cheer nice and loudly. Come on. We've got 35 seconds left on the clock. One, two, three, four storeys high. Here comes the fifth one. That's looking a little bit wonky, but we're five storeys up. I'll pick that one up. That's six. <laughs> we're up to the seventh story. He's got to do 10, and we're down to 20 seconds. That's eight stories. We're getting the wobbles. We're getting the wobbles. Two to go, and we're down to 12 seconds. One more story after this one. Can he do it? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Where's the check? Come on in. John, I was, I was convinced you weren't going to pull that off. That was so close. Can I, can I have your pacemaker? Uh, that is fantastic. It's for the kids, everybody! $50,000. Well done, Dixie. Thank you to Burswood. I can't believe we're six from six, everyone. We've got four more minutes to win it throughout the afternoon and into the evening. We look forward to you joining us for more $50,000 giveaways. We're loving it. We'll see you soon.
thanks to Toshiba and the good guys, when you 